What is conscious capitalism? Conscious capitalism is based on four key tenets. And the first tenet is that every business has the potential to have a higher or deeper purpose that goes beyond just making money, just maximizing profits and shareholder value. Now, every business oftentimes talks about having some kind of higher purpose, but the conscious business, conscious capitalism, takes that higher purpose and organizes the entire business model around it. The second tenet is that what we call stakeholder integration, that the business should be consciously trying to create value for all of the interdependent stakeholders. I'm in the retail business at Whole Foods Market, so a simple way that I oftentimes explain it is that management's job is to hire the very best people we can find, make sure that they're well trained, and then help the team members to be happy because happy team members are going to provide better service for customers. That results in happy customers. Happy customers are going to patronize the business more frequently. They're going to tell their friends about it. They are going to be uh, resulting in, in the business flourishing and that's going to result in happy investors. So happy team members results in happy customers, results in happy investors. The third tenet is this idea of a conscious leadership. You can also think of that as servant leadership. We need a different kind of leader in the 21st century, one who has a higher degree of emotional intelligence, one who has a sense of spiritual intelligence about ethics, about the purpose of the business, and one that has a systems intelligence that can see how it all fits together and manage the entire system. And the fourth key tenet is what we call conscious culture. The culture is the, is the values, the way we do things around here in the business. It's the practices that, and the processes and the strategies that hold the business together. And if you have unhealthy elements in your culture, then to that degree your business is going to sub-optimize. So you have to be very conscious about your culture and put in strategies and processes and structures that really allow the human beings that are in the culture to fully flourish and to self-actualize themselves. So, conscious capitalism, to summarize is four key tenets. Every business has potential for higher purpose. We should create value consciously for all of the interdependent stakeholders. We need a different kind of leader, a servant leader, who serves the higher purpose of the organization as well as all the stakeholders. And fourth, we need a conscious culture that allows all the human beings to flourish and self-actualize themselves within the organization. Why would a business want to be a conscious capitalistic business? Well, I would argue that in the long term, you're going to have to be a conscious business so you're not going to succeed. The conscious businesses perform so much better on all the measurements. They tend to have lower employee turnover, they have higher morale, they have higher productivity, they have higher degree of creativity and innovation. They tend to give better degrees of customer service and they have higher degrees of customer satisfaction. They tend to be more profitable. They are creating value for all of their stakeholders. So in some sense, it's almost a competitive necessity. It, someday it will be a competitive necessity. Right now, it's competitive advantage. You should want to be a conscious business because if you are, you're going to have competitive advantages against the competitors that are less conscious. It's much easier for a startup business to become a conscious business because they don't have any legacy or negative cultural elements to overcome. So if you're an entrepreneur starting up your own business, you can put in the conscious uh, principles right from the very beginning. If you are in a legacy business, then you can begin the process of beginning to evolve the business towards more conscious practices.